G'day everyone as well. Today I'm going to try and make a VHF DTV antenna. Should have something that looks like this. Have a fold here, a fold there. And that points down that way, that goes that way, and this goes on top of that, faces the opposite way. You have your VHF, UHF transformer splitter connector here. And where these corners are, or where they cross over, you put little V-shaped um, masts on it. So I'm going to try just some old house wire, copper wire. This is out of a three phase cord, so. So if I, yeah, you have a screw there, and a screw there, you have screws to hold this all together. Should have something that looks like this in the middle of it, on this bit of wood here. It's supposed to cross over something like that. You put your connector there, bolt it down. You have a, I think you have a, a two antennas here, two antennas there, and I think you have where the um, transformer bolts down, you put one each there too. But yeah, it's supposed to cross over a little something like this. Yeah, I have to get, find some little um, other bits of wire I can make the, the V's out of. See what I can do with them. But yeah, I just got a, I don't know about, I'd say it's an inch thick pack of wood. By about uh, three inches wide. And it's about 50 centimetres long. It's pretty small. But yeah, I'll try and fit, sort these out and use these as part of um, find some more of this stuff to use as uh, the V's. If not, I'll use some other wire. But yeah, and where they have, and, that, and where there's crossover, you're supposed to insulate. Yeah, but I have to look at the design again. Where, where somewhere where it crosses over, like it's here, here, or here, or here, they got to put the, the antennas. But where they cross over, you're supposed to insulate so they're that short. So yeah, gotta work on this and see how we go. So yeah. Okay, we always well, I've marked out very crudely, roughly where the um two centre bits are gonna be. Where they cross, you insulate. And the, the V's have to be here. One on each end. So there, there. One at the, uh, at the point of bend. There, there, there. And same for these ends. So yeah, got a little marking on here where the wires are going to go, and your transformer goes in between there and bolts on there to plug your antenna wire in. Now I've got this really old 1960s building cord, which has two solid conductors in it, the same as this. I'm going to use these for the V's. <coughs> very old type cord, a very old flexible PVC conduit, which I don't use anymore. So yeah, let's use that as a source to get the um, antenna conductors out. So you get the Stanley knife, or in this case I need the side cutters and nip along here. Just tear it out of the pliers and then strip the conductors out. Okay, viewers, well that's what it's supposed to look like so far. And the other one you do the same thing, but you cross it over this way. Now these little screws here I actually got from the scrapped rear projection TV. I kept all the screws and fasteners. Because they come in great use for stuff like this. Got the washers on them. What you know, I, I did. I pre-drilled the holes first. Because these are only those um, plastic type. They're not. They're not self-driven. So yeah, pre-drilled the holes. Take your screws like that. Now here at these points, I'm going to put some electrical tape on. So first, I bolt these um, end bits down. Get these bolted down so I can get this um, secured. Then I can start to put the electrical tape in the right place. So yeah. Alright, we're all as well, we're all done. Got the screws all screwed in. Now you do these screws pretty tight. They'll press the um, themselves down and support the little V-shaped bits here. Now, mark where I'm going to put the transformer. So the transformer has to go here. So yeah, you tap your little transformer in here, but I'm just going to use a pair of old TIAC rubber deers, which have all the um, transformer and stuff built in. The UHF VHF splitter transformer and the, the antennas off it, which I use for another rabbit, set of remedies. But I use that base assembly and wire it to here. Cause it's the same thing as one of those little transformers, it's just um, got in the uh, it's just designed a, a different uh, shape. It's the same principle. But if I wire it on here and give this thing a test, it should work in theory. Yeah, just as long as these are insulated. This is what design the plans actually have. There's another type, which is the same as this, except it has reflectors on the back. 
I'm gonna give this one a try first, see how it goes. So yeah, I'll give her a test and we'll see how we go. Uh, <clears throat> okay, if you're as well, got this thing very crudely connected. I couldn't find my TAC remedy, so I just got this cheap five dollar one, which I modded with this plug to a different type of antenna instead of the one that they had on it. And look at that, just sitting there and getting something. It's breaking up like crazy, but it's working. It's because it's shorting out in the socket. I can't get a good connection inside this socket. But yeah. I'll have to work on getting a good connection inside here to get it to work. But if I plug it straight into the back of the box and not use this, it should work. So yeah, I trialled out this little thing here. It might not be very easy though. So yeah. Be all as well. I have to find a way to connect this socket up and I'll come back. But yeah. Okay, the oil is definitely working. I'm getting a nice shock off this antenna by touching it. It's got a 5 volt antenna feed, some of these set-top boxes do. When you touch two polarities of your fingers, you get a really nasty sting. But yeah, try VHF. Here we go, the box freezes is when you can't get a good signal. Have to shut it off. But yeah. Both put the power back up. Managed to get the picture on his TV adjusted a bit better than what it was. The picture used to look, look, look used to look like crap on his TV, but I got it looking pretty good now. Just the tubes not very bright. Just brightness and contrast are flat out, and that's as best brightest I can get the picture. I think that's a crappy tube. But yeah, it's not working with VHF very good at all. Yeah, if there's a proper um, transformer on here, I might get a bit of luck. So yeah, it's not getting any VHF. Whoa, I got a very nasty shock off this. Just don't touch the um the copper conductors, because you will get a nasty shock. So I just carefully lay it down. Alright, I'm just going to very crudely connect it here. So if I just somehow, it is working though, I'm getting something out of it, close to the window, so yeah, the red lock will come on when it tries to lock on, but yeah, this it is plausible that this does work, but it depends where you live, how you design it, and how good a job you do, how close to the antenna you're living in. If I don't use this and get myself a proper transformer UHF VHF splitter and use that, I'll get better results again. But yeah, this does work. But yeah, I'm getting some signal. Very careful, don't touch it. Because it does give you quite a nasty sting. It's 5 volts at about 0 0.0001 amp. But yeah, VHF about 50% signal and it doesn't stay on. Try channel 10, a UHF. The best I get. Seven mate. Yeah. Seven two. Let's try the normal prime. Yeah. So yeah, this antenna does work, but to a degree. So yeah, hope you found this little bit interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching. One more thing with this TV. Watch how it turns off. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Love how that TV collapses like that. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching.